Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Nash. And now we introduce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon. Ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Well, missed on that one. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Able to rip the body there. Oh, who is going to be the last man standing? We're just getting started, and they are getting after it. These dudes are throwing bombs. This is going to be a great fight. Oh, my goodness, what a right hand. Oh! Straight right hand now, just misses. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. for that left hand. Not there. Able to check the high kick. I mean, you live on the island. What a start. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, It's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Now getting that left hand home to the target. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh! Right hand landed. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. He gets tattooed by that straight punch. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Somehow, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Uppercut. Unable to connect with the right hook. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. 
he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Final seconds of round one. for the end of round one. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are gonna be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. So he's... Big strike lands! Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Right hook to the head block. That left hook was crazy. Back and forth we go. Nice. Just misses with the straight right. Oh! He's hooked now. Now he lands a solid punch. Goes upstairs, gets the push to the target. High kick lands. Straight right, he misses. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot. That's what they call it, to go and end the fight. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Oh, man, he's hurt. Let's go. Let's cut. Cut. Cable inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting out. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Let's go. Get out first, boy. Oh. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Good block there. Oh. 
Mitchell, perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Just missed with the leg kick. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. World of trouble. Block that kick to the body. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Those are the body kicks that are perfect. Beautiful entry as he gets the takedown late in the round two, which could have an impact on the judges potentially. Absolutely. You want to leave an impression in the judge's mind. You walk back to your corner. When you get up from a dominant position, Almost want to wave at the judges and say, I got it done. Right, right. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready? You ready? Good. Here we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, roundhouse kick. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Lee. Great job blocking that punch. Lee gets tattooed by a solid uppercut there. Can't take too many more of those. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh! Oh, beautiful combination. Hook to the head there by Lee. Oh! He's hurt bad. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Liver kick. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Ball oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Forward, forward, forward. His nose is all crooked. It's all beat up. It's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose is broken. Two minutes now to go in the fight.
Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right now. Fourth we go. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Keep the pressure on. You're doing good. What a kick that one landed. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. All right, so the blood continues to be a major factor in this fight. And I think at some point the referee is going to intervene here, DC. He hasn't been able to change anything, right? So it doesn't, we have no indication that he's going to be able to stay in this fight. The cut was open very early. Now we're at a point where it's going to be stopped due to all the blood and how limited he is in trying to stay in this fight. And that one certainly found the target. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the way. Oh, the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds to go here. Keep the pressure on. Everything's landing. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. While this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie, I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. Oh! In a ton of trouble right now. Oh! With authority, the body! All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often than not,